Guido, is the Ozo the most exciting thing you've ever worked on? Definitely, yes. Um, I was uh, telling my boss and my family that I really feel uh, this to be a special project. It's one of those uh, situations where you have a great product, uh, but at the right time, uh, where the market is ready to receive it uh, and understand exactly how you're innovating uh, in a specific space. Fantastic. Why do you feel it's the right time? Why 2015 or 2016? Well, the right time actually was not really driven by us, uh, but is external factors. Uh, uh, Facebook bought Oculus, uh, there was no plan that that was happening, uh, and suddenly the whole industry is turning uh, towards VR like the big thing. The past uh, six, eight months, uh, you see so many companies uh, investing significant money in the VR space uh, and creating this great momentum. We've been so lucky because we started two years ago, not knowing that this was going to happen this way, but delivering the product at the right time. Now you're uh, head of Presence Capture at Ozone? That's right. Okay, and based in the Bay Area, right? Based in Sunnyvale, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, and what exactly does your department do in terms of making this beautiful piece of machinery right here? So Presence Capture, and the name of it, is really focusing uh, on the reality part of virtual reality. So of course, uh, you have a lot of worlds generated by computers uh, that can take you anywhere in fantasy world. Uh, but we're looking at the reality aspect. Uh, so what we focus on is to create devices uh, that could be in a capture area or in our other areas of the ecosystem uh, in order to recreate reality so that you can be either teletransported or even travel in time only towards the past, not to the future, but you can go back and revisit situation that you were part of, uh, but look around and look in different direction than the one that you choose when you were there. Nice. November 30th, 2015, we're here in Los Angeles at uh, LA Live. What is tonight's launch about? What are we doing? I mean, this launch uh, is really uh, the beginning of a journey. We want to be inspirational in this industry. We believe VR will be big and impactful uh, for everybody. Uh, I don't think that people will look at picture uh, as they're looking uh, till today, uh, meaning they're just rectangles. Pictures are always uh, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, just rectangles. Uh, and now they're spheres. Uh, not only you can go left and right, uh, but you can be fully immersed, audio and video, and this will be just a new jersey, uh, New Jersey, a new journey. Uh, and inspirational because it can inspire new ways of telling the story, can inspire new businesses, uh, uh, can inspire new situation of consuming entertainment that we never thought about. Is Nokia the first company to launch a VR filmmaking camera? We definitely are not the first one in terms of VR cameras. Uh, there are many solutions in the marketplace, uh, but we're definitely the first one introducing a professional dedicated device uh, for VR. Um, this, this camera has been really designed and invented uh, from a blank sheet of paper thinking about the best solution uh, and not creating a solution with existing parts uh, or components or cameras, uh, you know, combine or duct tape together in order to serve uh, the need, uh, but was designing completely thinking about uh, 360 video and 360 audio. So those are the uh, components that make the Ozo unique? I think that the uniqueness uh, are not only the technical uh, solutions, uh, but it's also the combination of the technical solution and the design. As you can see, it's very compact. Uh, it's fundamentally recreating the size uh, of a head, uh, but it has eyes, uh, ears, uh, of course, a brain. Uh, and I think that the whole combination of uh, technical uh, solution and design with no compromise uh, is, is really fantastic. Now, the Ozo is beautifully displayed to your left there. Is that one phase of it? Will there be other models of the Ozo? Or for now, we're just sticking with this, which is strictly professional, correct? Well, of course, we just started the journey. So we <laughs> want everybody to enjoy Ozo, use Ozo, buy Ozo. Um, but definitely, it's just the first step. Is the first step towards uh, more solution uh, for many problems. We're solving some problems, uh, very critical ones. Uh, by far, we're not solving all the problems. Uh, and so that means there will be a second and a third Ozo. And also there will be a direction toward uh, 
prosumer and eventually consumer because we really believe that VR will expand towards uh, all the different market segments. And where do you see uh, virtual reality filmmaking in the next five to ten years? I think it's, it's, it's just a new land. We just uh, discover this new land and we're gonna walk around this new land and people will invent uh, so many new things. Uh, think about uh, when, when people went from uh, pictures uh, to movies. Uh, it took, uh, I think, uh, three or four years uh, before they start walking around with the camera because they thought, oh, the camera can you know, just film everything in a static way. And so for VR storytelling and techniques uh, uh, to entertain people with VR, we're just at the very, very beginning. And I don't know what, what people will invent, uh, but it's clear that there is so much to be discovered. Do you envision uh, moviegoers uh, wearing the headset? Is, is that, I mean, forgive me for my, my lack of, of knowledge. About, I know you mentioned the Oculus Rift, but, and I know it's one type of headset. That's right. But, uh, uh, do you, is that how one would view these movies or...? or? Well, I think, I think that the definition of movies uh, is really will stay stick with whatever is the movie today. A movie means a cinema or theatrical experience uh, or on TV is, is a certain experience. It's like uh, on radio, you know, a radio program uh, is different than a TV program. Uh, has different editing, different pace and so on. So what we call video VR or VR experiences, uh, uh, I don't think that will be the evolution of movies, uh, will be another media, another way of uh, enjoying the story. Um, there are great plays uh, and you go to the theater to see a play. Uh, are you comparing that with a movie? Of course you can make a movie out of the play uh, and will be different, it's a different product. Uh, why? Because uh, the expectation of how to tell the story and the elements that we're going to use to tell the story are different. A script of a play is different from a script of a movie and will be different for VR experiences. One aspect that is uh, really different uh, is that VR is compelling for multiple times uh, of viewing the same VR experience. A movie, even a great movie, we, we watch it twice three times. If we're in love with a movie, maybe four times. Uh, but after that, we tell people, you gotta watch that movie, it's fantastic. For VR experiences, every time you can look in a different direction, uh, and it's different. You're not playing the same thing. It's the same environment, uh, but it's a different experience. That will really open uh, uh, a plethora of opportunities. Guido, I don't know if you're able to talk about the price. I understand it's $50,000 for the camera. Uh, is, is that something that you... Well, the price will be announced tonight, so yes, we, mm -hmm. can, we can talk about the price. <laughs> okay, and, so that's uh, And also back. availability. So mm -hmm. first of all, you can pre-order uh, Ozo starting from today. So you can go on our website uh, or through the authorized resellers uh, and uh, you can pre-order Ozo. The price is going to be $60,000, uh, six zero. Of course, the camera comes with a kit of uh, uh, parts and, and accessories uh, in a beautiful case. Uh, and the availability of the product will be in Q1 2016. Okay, great. So in the next few months. Um, will it come already assembled or, or will... Absolutely, oh, okay. yeah. Uh -huh, it's, a, it's a professional camera. Uh, of course, come uh, fully assembled with uh, some cables, uh, um, a very important uh, software to manage uh, the camera and also to preview uh, in, uh, in real time what the camera is seeing. Uh, that is a fantastic uh, part of the product. Uh, um, everything is included in the, in the $60,000. Thinking about some of the films that you've loved over the years, what movies do you wish had been filmed using oh, VR? There are so many. Uh, definitely one of my favorite was Memento uh, just because uh, it plays with memory and going back and forward uh, and I see really a strong value for uh, memories uh, and going back in time and being able to look uh, in different uh, directions. Think about uh, uh, if you picture a moment uh, that you had with your grandfather uh, or someone in your family when you were very young uh, and you can go back uh, and instead of seeing just that person that of course was in front of you, you can now turn around and see what the others uh, were doing. Uh, what were their faces uh, when you were engaging with, uh, with this relative at that, at that time? It would be fantastic. 
What are some of the features that filmmakers and storytellers will really love about the Ozo? Oh, we, we already saw that the pre live previewing, so being able to sit inside Ozo, uh, almost like physically being squeezed inside this sphere and see everything around it and hearing everything around it uh, is a huge gain. Uh, of course, they're used to sit behind a camera, but behind the camera there's a lot of stuff happening that nobody sees. Uh, uh, and now they need to be aware of everything around the camera and they really love this feature that uh, allow them to live looking around before shooting uh, and organizing the actors, uh, the lights, uh, the scene itself uh, is really fantastic. What is the technology that enables the VR camera to work, this Ozo? I mean, I, for a layman, if, if you were to do, say, uh, elevator pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would say we go back to the basic. Uh, it's really miniaturization uh, and fitting a lot of technology in a very small space uh, in a very efficient way and also controlling uh, heat. When you put a lot of technology in a small package like your phone, uh, it gets warm, sometimes even hot because there is a lot of stuff happening in a very small space. Uh, and so the, the fundamental of this uh, design and invention uh, is that we were able to squeeze a lot of sensors, eight sensors, uh, that were globally synchronized. Uh, so they're taking eight pictures uh, all together and sending this picture out in one cable uh, all at the same time. That was really the invention. Did you do any testing with, with professional uh, DPs? And, and what was their reaction to it? I know you have a great video already online with several yes. tastemakers about their experience. Yeah, what we did actually, we did in two phases. In a very early stage, uh, at the beginning of this year, uh, we want to validate the market. Is the product we're working on something that is interesting in the industry in general, right? And are we doing it the right way? And that was fantastic because uh, the feedback was really consistent, uh, positive and consistent. Uh, although we also know that we're addressing many critical problems, uh, but not all of the problems. And then a second phase, uh, when we start having the pre-production unit, uh, so the early prototypes, uh, we of course went out uh, and start produce videos uh, uh, that were in the mind uh, of some of the key creators uh, in the VR industry. Uh, and again, uh, that validation was uh, a really fun process. Uh, not so much for the engineers, because as you can imagine, you know, prototypes sometimes fails, uh, and not everything is working perfect. Uh, but was really fantastic because we were able to collect the feedback uh, from those experts, uh, and also change a little bit some of the choices that we made initially based on those experiences. Who are you making the product for? Oh, we're definitely making the product uh, for um, what we call Ozo believers uh, or VR believers. Uh, um, that means, of course, uh, the creative community telling the story in a different way with a new tool, but also the business community. Uh, there are new businesses that can be enabled by Ozo. Uh, think about if you have the best seats at the show and thousands of people can share it uh, everywhere in the world, uh, like being right there. Or maybe it's just for selling a big mansion from overseas. Uh, or visiting a place that doesn't exist anymore. Um, all of those. For Gary V's web show, Gary yeah. Vaynerchuk, he talked about advertising could also be huge Absolutely. in the VR space. Absolutely. Um, you know, some, some of the lines in the early stage of movies was, oh, movies uh, will take you to places, uh, right? Now you can imagine this is really taking you to places because you'll be there. Uh, and, and of course, advertisement uh, really create uh, an experience uh, and as much as you can involve emotions uh, in that visual experience, uh, your advertisement will be more successful. Uh, think about uh, if you have a video of someone that you really want to meet close to you uh, and then your star or your fans of someone uh, and they're right there and they're talking to you with this eye contact that make you feeling like special. As soon as you feel special, uh, whatever is the product that you're advertising, you will go for it. <laughs>